hello guys welcome back to tbl kuto channel thank you for your subscription for your likes and for your comments so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft the basic trouser blog that is women trouser pattern without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> This video is going to be in two parts. I'll be showing you in the first video how to draft the basic trouser blog, and the second one will be the fabric preparation and the sewing process. So I have all the tools I'll be needing: my pattern paper, I have my markers, the curves, the fabric I'm going to be using for the sewing. Then the most essential is the measurement. So I'm going to be telling you the measurements you will need for the trouser blog. In case you want to draft a basic trouser blog after watching this video these are the measurements you you're going to be needing for you to be able to draft your basic trouser blog so i'm going to be showing you how to take this measurement using this miniature to take it the first one is your round waist measurement your round waist measurements meaning your trouser waist or your ie circumference this is around your waist the circumference of your waist and then you need your hip circumference also you take your tape around your hip to measure your hip circumference then afterwards what you'll be taking is the length of your trouser from the waist to the hip that is the first one you'll be taking from the waist to the hip then after then you take exactly from the waist to the knee length then to your hem that is your trouser length whichever length you want but because this is a basic trouser i took it just to the level of my ankle that is what i'm going to be using to draft this basic trouser after this you need your round knee circumference if i'm saying round is the same thing as circumference also you will take your round ankle circumference and for your crotch you will need to sit on a flat surface with your waist held eye to, to take your crotch depth measurements from your trouser waist down to the edge of the stool that is how you take for your crotch i hope we get that once we've gotten our measurements the first thing i'm going to be doing is to mark my borderlines it's very important at the edge of my pattern paper i came down by i think up to three inches three inches is like 7.5 centimeters at that other side too i came in by three inches which is also 7.5 centimeters so i'm going to connect these dotted lines with my ruler and that is what i'm going to be doing first so i have my pattern paper ready and i also have my horizontal and my vertical line the first measurement i'm going to be inputting is along my vertical lines here is my measurements that i'm going to be using for this trouser block i have both measurements in centimeters and in inches the red ones are written in centimeters while the green ones are written in inches should in case you are using either centimeters or inches you'll be able to understand this video i'm going to be using this green marker to draft the front trouser because i'm going to be drafting both the front and the back on the same pattern paper so the very first one i'm going to be marking is from my waist to my hip and i label the angle where the two lines meet as my waist then i went ahead to mark my waist to hip length and afterwards i went in to mark my waist to my crotch depth then marked my waist to my knee length the final length measurement i'm going to be marking is my waist to my m or my trouser length after getting this measurement i will need to impute from that other side along from the vertical side along the horizontal line and this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to divide my hip into four my hip circumference into four i'll mark it at the waistline and at the crotch line and connect together i'm also going ahead to measure what i have on my hip so that i can connect the line on my hip so i have my waist my hip my crotch my knee and my hem line the next thing i'm going to be marking is my crotch extension 
on length and if you watched my video my previous video on how to calculate your crotch extension or length you will see i did like five different methods on how to calculate your crotch extension or your crotch length in this video so out of these methods i just picked one which is the 16 division method i will explain better so it is 16 division method because i'm going to be dividing my total hip circumference divided by 16 because i'm using an ankara material and it's not stretchy so i need more ease around my crotch extension that is the main reason why i picked 16 instead of 20. so i'm going to be dividing my total hip both in inches and centimeters by 16. whatever the answer gives me is going to be what i'm going to mark for my crotch extension or crotch length so after calculating my hip divided by 16 i got 6.6 three centimeters which is 2.5 inches in inches so along the line at that very edge where my marker is is where i'm going to be marking my crotch extension or my crotch length the next thing i will need to do is to divide my crotch line the long line into two i need to divide it into two equal parts and whatever i have i'm going to mark it at the exact spot where my marker is right now and after noting this what i will do is to take half of this to my waistline half of my crotch to my waistline to my knee line and to my m line the next thing i'm going to do is to connect both lines together to give me a straight line from the waistline to the m line then the next thing for me to do is to connect my crotch to my hip line but sometimes this is what i do before connecting i go upward by three centimeters you can use one inch in inches on angle 45 degree this is not compulsory i do that because i want a perfect curve line at the crotch to my hip so you can just use your pattern master or any pattern curve that you have available for you so i'm just going to use my marker to connect from my crotch extension to my hip and i have my front crotch extension the next thing i'm going to be imputing is my knee divided by four or by two depending on which you want to use to calculate it this is divided by two because i am going to be putting half of the knee circumference at the front trouser pattern and the other half at the back trouser pattern and i said it can also be divided by four because i'll be taking the half that i have for the front pattern and i'll further divide it into a two equal parts in order to put it at both sides of the line i have at the knee and the ankle for the front trouser pattern i hope we we'll get that so i'll go ahead to mark my half knee on the knee length and my half ankle on the ankle length and once i'm done with this the next thing for me to do is to connect from my m line or my ankle line to my knee with a straight ruler at both sides of the trouser pattern after doing this the next thing i'm going to be connecting is from the crotch to the knee so i'm going to be using my trouser curve to connect from the crotch extension to the knee at the center front of the trouser pattern and at the side front also i'm going to be using my trouser curve the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my waist measurement on my waistline and to do this i'm going to divide my waist circumference divided by four plus that your dart can be 0 0.5 inches at both sides of your dart or it can be one centimeter depending on whichever measurements you are using so once i've gotten what my waist divided by four plus my dart is i will connect from the crotch to the waist after connecting the final thing i think i need to do for the front pattern is to mark my dart so right now i'm going to be imputing my dart along my waistline i added plus two centimeters to my waist division by four and so you can do 0 0.5 inches at both sides if you added one inch to your waist measurement so i will come down by 10 centimeters which is four in inches and i will connect to both that at that line so i have done with my front basic trouser block or pattern this is how it's looking and on the same pattern is where i'm going to be drafting my back 
basic trouser you can choose to trace out your front basic trouser before drafting it on another pattern paper because this front basic trouser is going to be my guideline in drafting the back basic trouser so i have here the red marker for my back basic trouser the first thing i'm going to do is to go in from the center front by two inches two inches is five centimeters then go up by maybe two inches or 1.5 inches two inches or 1.5 inches is four centimeters and five centimeters respectfully whichever way is convenient for you and the next is to mark my crotch extension for the back trouser pattern still using my 16 division method so i just have that one as a standard for marking trouser pattern while using your 16 division method is to use either 3.8 centimeters or 1.5 inches and that is what i marked at that very angle after marking it i will come down by one centimeter for ease around the crotch line at that very angle along the hip line i'm going to come in by one centimeter you can choose not to come in at all just to connect straight like so but i'm just choosing for this pattern to come in by one centimeter at that very angle you can do is 0.5 inches for those that are using inches so i'm going to connect from my one centimeter at the crotch to my one centimeter at the hips and at to my new waistline for the back pattern once i'm done with this the next thing i'm going to be doing is to come out at the knee by one centimeter each for the knee and for the m or the ankle line you can use 0.5 inches to come out for your back trouser and then i'll connect my ankle to my knee the next thing for me to do right now once i'm done is to mark my waist divided by four plus my dart for the back trouser so once i've gotten my answer this is how i'm going to measure it i will let it be slanted because it must be equal to the other side of my trouser at the front then use my trouser curve to connect the lines together then whatever i go in at that very spot which is one centimeter if you do yours in inches it should be 0 0.5 inches i will mark it back at the other side of my hip line like so then use my trouser curve to connect from the waist to the crotch i'm going to be connecting from the waist to the crotch then from the crotch to the knee for the back trouser and also at the other side i will connect from the crotch extension to the knee and this is what i have i'm almost done the next thing i'm going to be doing is to mark my dart leg for the back trouser i'm going to find the midpoint at the waist and because the center back of the trouser is slanted at the crotch extension line the line i'm pointing to right now so the dart for the back trouser is not going to be straight it's going to be slanted towards the dart for the front trouser just like the way i ruled my line then whatever i added to the front that is what i'm going to impute also for the back that and i'll connect to the back waist line so once i'm done with this is at the very side of my waist i'm going to come up by one centimeter each for the front and one centimeter for the back if you are using inches you can come up by 0 0.5 inches and you connect back to, to the other side of your waistline so to differentiate my front from my back i wrote the front in green and the back in red my back trouser is completely drafted i have both of my front trouser and the back trouser on the same pattern paper the next thing i'm going to do right now is to mark out my trouser band exactly from this same pattern so i'm coming down by five centimeters for the front and the back trouser for my band this is two in inches then i'll connect the lines together once i'm done indicating the band trouser on my pattern the next thing i'm going to do is to first of all trace out my front trouser pattern and also do the same thing for my back trouser pattern then i will trace it out with my marker for horse to see clearly so i'm in this case i'm separating my front trouser pattern and my back trouser pattern on two entirely different pattern paper so the next thing i will be doing is to indicate my trouser pocket well, the reason why i'm raising this particular trouser pocket is because i started from my band instead of starting from my new trouser waistline and that is going to be below my band 
so i'm going to go in to measure my pocket width exactly along my that line then come down for the pocket length by 12 inches which is 34 centimeters there about i will mark this then use my pattern master to connect in a curvy line together from the pocket width to the pocket length so the next thing is to mark my pocket opening of 3 inches which is 7.5 centimeters and the length of the opening is going to be 6 inches this is 15 point something centimeters i connected it together and i have my pocket ready the other side of the pocket will just be the complete side of where my hand is going through right now and the final thing i think i'm going to do is to have my seam allowance at the side of my trouser pattern i went into her 2.5 centimeters of seam allowance it, this is one in inches i had this because if you notice from the beginning i did not add any ease to this trouser pattern so i'm going to be using 0.5 inches or 1.5 centimeters to sew my trouser the color is left is going to be for my ease allowance for my hemline what i had is two inches it is five centimeters and the next thing i'm going to be doing is to leave some markings on my pattern this marking is going to serve as a reading marking on my pattern because this is going to help me to prepare my pattern for cutting and for sewing so i love leaving markings on my pattern paper this is going to make it easier for me to read my pattern i'm going to do the same thing for the back pattern also so i have my complete trouser block drafted and this is what it looks like i, I enjoyed drafting the basic trouser block i hope you enjoyed watching me draft this basic trouser block also so in my next video i'm going to be showing us how to draft the trouser fly how to extract the trouser pocket from the basic trouser cutting process that is the fabric preparation process and also the sewing process step by step this is what i'm going to be showing you in my next video please subscribe like and also leave your thoughts in the comment section i would really love to read from you subscribe 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 please till next time bye bye